Hey everybody, it's been quite a while since I made a power supply video. And I know you guys out there like my power supply videos. So I figured I'd go and make one today. Basically, the TV box is needing a new power supply. The Diablo Tech PSDA320M power supply that's been in that thing for four years is getting tired. I mean, it run, still runs, but um, voltages are getting out of spec on the low end. And what was happening was the TV storage hard drive sometimes would cycle off and right back on and it would cause the system to eventually crash even after putting in the um, solid state drive and I what I did is I powered the hard disk drive off of a different power source actually a power supply that has a Molex on one end and you just simply plug it into the wall powered the hard drive off of that and it ran just fine so tell me it was power supply now check the um, plus 12 output with my multimeter and it was like 11.4 which is out of spec <laughs> so anyway so we have this new power supply here and yeah look at the brand Chief Max I got this from a local shop for less than $25 need it pretty quick so when it's picked up one at the shop now you guys know that in the past Chief Max hasn't had a very good history with me at least <laughs> with some of the units I've got out of part systems. But this unit here isn't terrible or anything like that. Um, let's go and have a look at it. Yes, I actually did take a look at it right after I bought it. <laughs> Before I even got home, I actually opened up the box and took a look at this thing. Now, the thing I'm noticing here is that the case is built halfway decent. And it's a two-fan design was manufactured at the end of 2013 it's rated for 450 watts but we know it can't put out that much it says on the um, plus 12 output it can do 22 amps now one thing I can tell you right now just by looking at it it's not an old design because the 5 volt isn't like extremely high I mean it's a little bit higher than the plus 12 but it's not extremely high and there's no minus 5 volt rail so that tells me it's, it's not some old-fashioned design so what we're going to do here is we'll take the cover off <laughs> and have a look inside this thing yes I'll be scratching up the warranty sticker on this thing for you guys but to be honest with you why would I want to um, claim warranty on something that costs less than $25 like this <laughs> I mean really here's the power cord it comes with Kind of skinny, but hey, it's a power cord. So let's go ahead and grab a screwdriver and get started with this thing. Okay, everybody got some screws, I mean, some screwdrivers. So that way we can go ahead and take this cover off. Now, I did have a look inside through the vent, and it seemed like it would be good for 300 watts or maybe, yeah, something like that. But this is just judging from what I saw from the outside of the unit. The reason why I'm opening it is because I want to see how the EMI filtering stage looks. Before I put this into service, I want to make sure it has a full, or at least close to full, EMI filtering stage. I'm curious to see if Chief Max can actually build a power supply that's actually worth a crap. Now, from what I've seen on this thing, it looks like it's built better than the Diablo Tech was from the factory. Now, basically, with the Diablo Tech power supply, back in 2010, I installed a um, had to pretty much build an EMI filtering stage on because it didn't have much of anything there so I did that and I had to replace the fan because the fan was not very good so let's see what we have inside of this one from the factory and scratch the label here and we'll go ahead and pop it open thing has not been plugged in at all. So let's see what we have here. Yes, this thing's definitely going to need some attention. And I can see something right away that kind of gets my attention. Look at these capacitors. They say they're, you know, they're OST. They say they're forcing the microfarads, but that kind of has me wondering if that's legit or not. And 
Let's see with this thing. It's got a very small spot for a uh, long filter. And look at these diodes here. We've got the four diode treatment here, which I'm not really liking. But then again, the previous one had it and it worked just fine for all these years. Get you a good focus so you can see for yourself. You can probably see where it says LF1. In that very small spot there. Now other than other than that, things do seem slightly better. I mean, we have two blue capacitors. So we have that means we have two Y caps. That black thing there is the NTC and what is shrink wrap down there is a fuse. There are the connectors for both fans. There's one fan. And of course back there is the other. I actually put a um, push pull configuration here. So we have OST capacitors here and here, and one over here. I think it's an OST. No, that one's an HQ. <laughs> now, what we have over here on the outputs, HQ. That's a brand that I'm kind of questioning about. Yeah, I'm definitely going to see what I can do with this thing to kind of improve it. Might be a little tricky, but I'll see what I can do. So anyways, that's a general look at what's inside this power supply. And I tell you, it's not near as bad as what I've seen before out of um, Chief Max, but <laughs> at the same time, definitely not the best. I could probably see myself recapping this thing within a year. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.